Welcome to the Audience Response System, the free software platform PollEverywhere.com. PollEverywhere works on a Windows machine as well as a Mac and allows your audience members to use a smartphone or any phone that they can text with and respond to your poll. They can also uh, do the response in an email as you can get the link and send that to them in an email or they can use a uh, computer device instead of a smartphone. This particular version is showing you how this works on a Mac. Now, the, the Mac works different than the Windows environment so we wanted to make a separate video for the Mac. Also, the uh, something to know as of September 1st, 2013, the way that you would insert these polls into PowerPoint uh, it was a flash file. As of September 1st, 2013, it's, uh, fl it's flash is no longer going to work. It's going to be an HTML5 file. So at this particular point, um, using this setup is setting it up as an HTML file already, so you will not have to make any modifications. If you have done a Poll every uh, Everywhere video a while back, um, it was in flash and you may find that it's not going to work after September 1st and so you will have to re-record that particular poll if you're going to use that again. So the first thing that you need to do because it again it is different to do it on a Mac you have to go to polleverywhere.com forward slash labs and download the poll ev presenter that's specific for a Mac and will allow you to input your polls into either PowerPoint or into Keynote, which is a presentation software for the Mac. Okay, so once you've done that, you can uh, open PowerPoint, have your PowerPoint presentation uh, going. And here's one that I started creating earlier. So you have your slide. Here's the next slide that kind of talks about some of that stuff I just mentioned. Um, using a Mac means you insert different than Windows. You have to load the Poll Everywhere Presenter app. Here's the September 1st change to the HTML5. And finally, you need to have both your PowerPoint uh, open as well as the Poll Everywhere app. They must both be open at the same time for this to work. So let's assume these are our two slides in our PowerPoint presentation. We would like to add the poll right after this second slide. Um, again, I'm using uh, Office 2011, so if you're using a different version, you might find some of these buttons in different places. So uh, adding a new slide, I'm going to grab a blank one. I'll show you why in a second. One of the things you have to do in order to properly insert the slide into PowerPoint is you have to insert a shape. And you can grab any of these square items or round ones. It doesn't really make any difference. I'll grab this round rectangle. And you want to get to the point where you get your drag handles and make it take up a good portion. That way you can have your pole be a little bit larger. So you need to have yourself a large square or so, a rounded square, rectangle. You could put a circle or stop sign shape, whatever. You just want to make it decent size, take up a good portion of the page. Then as I said, remember you have to have Poll Everywhere open. So go to Poll Everywhere where you have your particular poll. Um, I can, that's one I happen to have open, but normally you wouldn't have one open necessarily. You Here's a listing of a number of polls, so I will pick that one. And then here's your toolbar. If you wanted to create a new poll, you could go ahead and do that right here. But I'm going to go, this is the Keynote app to add the poll. This is the PowerPoint app to add the poll. And this is if you want to hide this once you're rolling your PowerPoint presentation. So all you have to do is click here. And you might notice that down below here, the HTML code has been added for you. Okay, Nothing else you have to do at this point. You're actually done. It's been inserted. It just doesn't look like that. But you will go back to 
the start go to the slideshow view don't worry about this stuff on the side it just pops up it's telling you that there's a manual way for you to with some keystrokes for you to launch pull everywhere eventually they all disappear so this is our first slide we move on to our second slide and we move on to our third slide and it'll take a second here but eventually that pole everywhere will pop in so I didn't need to make the square uh, that big as you can see but you can also resize this while you're building to take up a little bit more space and there you go you're back to your tool setup that's all you need to know for that layout